let's see if we can catch a few trout on ultralight tackle. Simple method, split shot, hook, and half a night crawler. Hey. <laughs> All right, that's a size eight hook, and I just got a BB shot on here. Little bitty one, I don't know what size it is. I'll show you though, and I have it about 20 inches above my hook. That's it. Canyon Creek Super Ultralight Rod, seven feet long, just limber. I mean, it's nearly as limber as a fly rod with a Reverus LT1000 Daiwa reel, and it's loaded with four pound test, Mr. Crappie High Vis line. Now, the water right here can't be over a foot deep. But every once in a while, I'll see a trout come up and surface to get him a bite. They're just hitting little gnats and stuff like that that's on the water now. That's about all I see is little gnats. But there's some fish held up right in there where I'm at. Every once in a while, I'll see one come up and, and pop a bug, whatever they are, off the top of water. There we go. There wasn't no doubt about that. I didn't have to set the hook that hard. No sense of that. That was way too hard. That was a bass set right there. Fighting some of a gun. That's another. Let's see. Yeah, it's another rainbow. Yeah. There he goes into that. Boy, when they tense up, it's all you can do to hold them. And I don't want to fight them to hold them. Y'all know what I mean? Nah. Huh. Let's get him off right here. There we go. I don't want to hurt them while trying to hold them. If I can hip it, quit, quit. They tense up and squirm. Strong little fish. It's amazing how strong they are. Beautiful little fish to me. I keep saying that, but this is something kind of new for me. And I found a trick pretty quick, and I'll show it to you. There's a lot of little rocks out here. They're not very big at all. But they're big enough to uh to hang you up so what i've done is readjusted my weight to around 14 inches to stop that it, it's helping me now let's put us a night crawler on and i'll show you what i'm doing and i'm not a trout expert but i do know this if you can figure out a way to keep from getting hung up tying one hook on after another you're going to be in a lot better shape you're gonna have a lot more of a chance. Your percentage is gonna be a lot higher to catch fish is what I'm getting at. So, so I've kind of got the hang of it right here. And it's the same way with bass fishing um, in a river system for small mouth or spots with an open hook jig. Okay, let's make this a cast. What I'm doing is holding my rod tip real high okay make that long cast i'm just holding that rod tip real high like that watching that line now i can tell if that thing gets hung up that thing meaning that split shot so i'm keeping my rod really high see i almost got hung up there but i got it out so it can continue its drift look here there he is. It's a softer bite than a bluegill. Bluegill bite. Look at there. That ain't nothing but just beautiful. Beautiful fish. Let's see what we got right. Look at him. They they won't quit. 
quit, quit. That fish is probably around 10 and a half, 11 inches. That's a brown trout. Okay, let's let him go. There he goes. Let's just cut this night crawler half in two. Like that. That's all it takes. Now that's a size eight hook, little bitty hook. And I try to just go in about like that. That's what I've been doing. It's been working. <laughs> I'm not kidding y'all. I've probably caught over 25 trout. And I know there's some fish holding right there. Or they were. Yeah, there he is. There we go. Now there's a good one. Or, he, or he's a lot bigger than what I've been catching. Let me loosen my drag a little bit. That's a pretty fish right here. Look here. They. That's what I'm talking about. That's a lot better quality than I've been catching. For some reason, I hadn't been catching any good ones. Now, they fight when they get that size right there and up. They'll give you a fit. They got a lot of power, a lot of spunk, a lot of speed. They got it all. <laughs> this is a pretty one right here. It's a rainbow definitely a rainbow and it's a simple method I could have brought my fly rod and we could have done some of that but this is so simple just light light tackle quit my goodness that's a good one light tackle getting the right size split shot which you'll have to mess around with a little bit till you get one that's flowing just right down the current look here what a beautiful fish right here that is a beautiful beautiful little rainbow my 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 that little size eight hook is no doubt the thing it's small they can't see it good quit quit <laughs> He's giving me a fit. <laughs> My goodness, he's giving me a fit. Let's let him go. Beautiful fish. Get him back in there. There he goes. That fish give me a fit. Whoa. And <laughs> let's catch another and whoa. <laughs> You ain't got that lick of sense. I'd look in your eye and tell you got a far away looking one of them in there. Now, I'm not kidding you about this. They ain't no way in the world that Clarence could do this right here. Clarence is not near tough enough, folks, to do this. I mean, you talking about a cry baby? Oh my goodness! I wonder if they could be a trout right here in this deep hole. Hmm? They must be little, real little. There's one. There we go. Got you, didn't I? I did. I just kept on and on and on and on. Until we got him. It's a rainbow. Golly. It is. It's amazing how much power them little fish do have. Mm, golly. I know the current helps them a lot, but they are strong fish. I couldn't imagine catching one quit five, six pound. That'd be something else. That's a nice one, ain't he? Quit, stop it. No, 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 no. 
squirmingest things I've ever had in my hands. Maybe we can show him. Just quit. Look at him. <laughs> mean. I'm talking about. This is fun right here. This is something that everybody needs to do. Just tough it out. See one hit right in front of me. Just tough it out. And when your feet go numb and legs, well, you ready to trout fish. <clears throat> now, smart people, fancy people, they'll buy them some waders. But I'm not non I'm not very bright, folks. I'm not, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm far from it. I do not claim to be a mental heavyweight. There's one dog going. That ain't a bad trout right there. He wants to be on that sandbar right there. Let's just go to him. That ain't really a bad trout. <laughs> Golly, they got power. <laughs> I'm amazed. Um, how much power they have for their size. It's been a long time since I've done this. I've done it the other day, but I had to come back once again. Mama Sue couldn't, said she couldn't take this cold water, so I had to come along. That's a good rainbow. Quit, 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 quit. I can't believe, look at this. Now that is a pretty fish. It is a beautiful, broad rainbow right there. That half a night crawler deal that, uh, works. I hadn't tried a whole night crawler. Golly, took off like a f like that. I didn't have time to say nothing about that. Whoa, I'm talking about. They say there's sock squatches around here. Okay, I'm not scared of you. Come on to me. I'll talk to you. And if you mess with me, I'll get you in a whole choke. Okay. Hey, I'm not kidding. I ain't scared of you doggone hairy stinking thing. Let's catch another. Woo! There's fish. Ah. Uh. Got him. <laughs> that's a good one too folks that's a good one this and is a good one i guarantee you. loosen my drag off he's fixing to cut up this is a rainbow rainbow trout right here what i mean by a good one most of the fish i'm catching are eight ten inches long This one's a lot, quite a bit bigger than that. Yep. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish right here in the great state of Tennessee. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there. Look at there at the colors on that fish. My goodness. Quit, quit. See what I'm talking about? When they start doing that, it is just hard to hold them. And you don't want to hold them hard because they're doing that. That's your natural natural thing that a person wants to do. Now, I've been having a lot of trouble with that, too. Go on. There he goes. I tell you, I'm seeing a lot of trout flashing. They're just flashing everywhere out there, folks. And I don't know how many fish I caught. Now, I fished for a long time. The reason why I wanted to try to get quality. But uh, we caught some pretty good trout. Uh, I'm always trying to upgrade my fish. But I bet you I've caught over 80 or more trout here today. Uh, actually, I've been fishing for about four hours. That's a lot of trout. And I, I kind of hate leaving here. It's such a beautiful place, but I got a long ways to drive. And um, Tennessee is a beautiful, 
beautiful state. I want to say thank y'all for everything y'all do. Each and every one of y'all are special. Remember that. You're a unique individual, and I love you. I want to say this. God bless each and every one of y'all. Every one of you. Hey. I'm talking about dogs. Gone. Dead. Blame. Whoa. <laughs> And remember, go fishing when you can.